In this video, we're going to cover what cross filter and cross highlight is in Power BI. We're going to look at what the differences are between these two and also when to use one or the other. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So filtering reports in Power BI is one of its interactive features that lets you change the context of charts based on what your user selected values are. So let me show it to you with a simple example here in this report that I prepared for you today. So it's an empty canvas at the moment, but I did have already imported a few tables here that we can use for demo purposes. So it's a collection of tables for a fictional company called Northwind, which is a database that stores data on orders of products for grocery goods uh, that's being sold internationally. So from here, we have the order details, which is a list of all the orders, how much they were ordered for and how many. We have a list of uh, when they were ordered in this orders table. We have the products table, which lists out all the different products that were ordered. And then we have the categories, which categorizes all these products into a more logical grouping. If we look at the model view here, I've also already pre-prepared a relationship between all of these tables, which we're gonna go back to in a second. So let's start this demo by showing you a few things. So first, so let's start by firstly adding a slicer visual here. I'm gonna use the category name here as our slicer. And then we are gonna simply add another one. So uh, category name, product name, and just as an example, let's take quantity. So just give me a summary or a count of all the products that were ordered, how many. So I'm gonna put this in a clustered bar chart here and probably just gonna remove the category here, move the product name like this. And if we select a value here in our slicer, for example, beverage, you'll see that it filters or it does a filter on our table on the right hand side. Cross filtering or cross highlighting simply means interactions that are carried on across other visuals in your report. So let's take cross filtering, for example, because this is an example of cross filtering already, but it's not very obvious. So let's take an example. Let's add another chart here just so that I can explain to you um, what what exactly happens with cross highlighting or cross filtering. So I'm going to create another bar chart here, let's say, and I'm going to add also quantity once more. And then let's add categories in our X axis here. You'll see that if I select beverages, under the chart here, you will see that it will automatically highlight the products on the chart at the top that belongs to this category. So this is what we call a cross highlight. So essentially it highlights the other charts based on your selection and cross highlighting in this case doesn't remove any unrelated data. It simply highlights the context that you're in and dims the rest of your data. So cross highlighting is useful to see the breakdown of your data without losing context of your whole value. So that's an example from this side, but you can also select it here. So for example, you want to know uh, where this one belongs to, you'll see uh, how many, how much quantity that is in total across all of the data products. And if you make multiple selections here, you're able to see what that is totaling up in the bottom chart here. And I'm using control click to select multiple values here in my uh, top chart. So you might be thinking at this point, how does Power BI know that when I click on these values that I mean a specific 
areas in my categories or vice versa? Well, it's because we've already set up the relationship between these tables. Without the relationships set up in Power BI, it wouldn't really know what the correlation are between these two fields from two different tables. Cross-filtering is another way to change the context of your data by selecting a value from your charts. So let's take this example of, um, instead of when we select the categories here, we wanna just show all of the products that are within this beverages and hide everything else. So what we need to do is we'll select the visual here under format, we'll select edit interactions and you'll see these icons pop up on the top right of all the other visuals in your page. So here you have an option to cross highlight or cross filter. So that means that currently we have this selected. Uh, when we interact with this visual, how should it interact or how should it affect the other visuals in my page? So in this case, we want to, instead of highlight, is to filter. And that's all you need to do. So we'll just disable that edit interactions to hide the icons. And now when we click beverages here, instead of highlighting just the ones in context, we simply filter out those that are not related. So cross filtering like this is useful to see the breakdown that you have based on the current selection. Now by default, cross highlighting is enabled on the charts uh, between chart to chart interactions. You can change this default under settings. So if you go file options on the options under report settings, you will see this option change default visual interaction from cross highlighting to cross filtering. This will make sure that when you create new charts, it will always be cross filtering by default. You can also use the edit interactions as you saw me do. So under format edit interactions. So to customize how the interaction happens between your visuals, Maybe you want a mixture of cross filter and cross highlighting between different charts and graphs. And here you can customize that. My personal recommendation is to always use the cross filter. That's because most of the time when a selection is made, it's not always very easy to see the actual values, especially if the value is very small compared to the whole. Also, if I wanted to know a ranking by category, like here, for example, it's very easy to see which of my products are at the top and at the bottom, as opposed to the cross highlighting, because cross highlighting doesn't actually sort your values. It actually just stays the same. So it's not very easy to see if you want to see the changes in ranking. And that's really it for this short video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with the cross highlighting and cross filtering features in Power BI, what their differences are and when you would use one or the other. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.